Before the Avro Aero, the Royal Canadian Air Force relied on a mix of aircraft like the de Havilland Vampire and the Canadair Sabre. While these jets were effective in their time, the rapid advancements in aviation technology during the Cold War necessitated a more advanced interceptor to defend against potential Soviet threats. The Avro Aero was conceived in response to the increasing threat of Soviet bombers capable of delivering nuclear payloads over North America. Canada needed a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor to protect its airspace and contribute to North American defense in conjunction with NORAD. During its testing phase, the Avro Aero demonstrated remarkable capabilities. The aircraft's performance in terms of speed, altitude, and maneuverability exceeded expectations. However, these tests were not without their challenges, as engineers continuously worked to refine its design and address technical issues. Let's take a closer look at the specifications of the Avro Aero. It had a mass of around 24,000 kilograms, a length of 23.7 meters, and a wingspan of 15.2 meters. The Aero was designed to reach speeds of Mach 2 around 2,450 kilometers per hour and had a range of 650 nautical miles. Its armament included air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM, for Falcon. These impressive stats made it one of the most advanced interceptors of its time. One significant advantage of the Avro Aero was its advanced aerodynamics and powerful engines, which allowed it to reach unprecedented speeds and altitudes. This made it exceptionally capable of intercepting and destroying incoming threats before they could reach their targets. Despite its advanced capabilities, the Avro Aero never entered full production. The program was abruptly canceled in 1959 due to a combination of political, economic, and strategic factors. The high cost of the program, coupled with changing defense priorities and a shift towards missile-based air defense systems, led to its downfall. Canadian defense doctrine at the time emphasized the need for a robust air defense capability to protect against Soviet bombers. The Avro Aero was designed to fit into this doctrine by providing a high-speed, high-altitude interception capability. However, as missile technology advanced, priorities shifted towards more cost-effective solutions. To address its high costs and complexity, alternative solutions like simpler, more cost-effective interceptors or missile systems were considered. However, no direct successor to the Avro Aero was developed within Canada, leading to reliance on American aircraft for air defense. Only five Avro Aeros were completed and flown before the program was cancelled. These aircraft demonstrated the potential of Canadian aerospace engineering but were ultimately scrapped, with no production models entering service. After the cancellation of the Avro Aero, many of the engineers and scientists who worked on the project moved to other countries, significantly contributing to aerospace advancements globally. The Aero's legacy remains a symbol of Canadian ingenuity and ambition in the field of aviation. The Avro Aero remains a symbol of what could have been in aviation history. Its advanced design and capabilities were ahead of its time, and its cancellation left many questions unanswered. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from aviation history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.